Good morning everyone. Nice to see you again. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, welcome to today's online story time. My name is Mrs M and today I have chosen you a story that I have been reading to children for quite a while um, and they normally love it. So um, I hope you really enjoy this one too. It's called Jim and the Beanstalk and it's by Raymond Briggs. Now, the children um, in the Nutkins, uh, I read this to them a lot and I think I've even read it to Puddle Ducks who are just next door as well. So I really hope that the children in um, the Nutkins and the Puddle Ducks are watching today. I miss you. And I hope you're doing really well. And that's just a little shout out to you. And hopefully there are lots of children who I don't know who are going to enjoy this story as well. I hope you do. Um, it's called Jim and the Beanstalk. Early one morning, Jim woke up and saw an enormous plant growing outside his window. That's funny, he thought. It wasn't there yesterday. I'll see how high it goes. And he began to climb. It certainly is a big plant, he said, as he went into the clouds. When he reached the top of the castle, the plant, Jim saw a castle. Mm, I'm hungry, he said. I'll ask at the castle for breakfast. Mm, I hope they have cornflakes. Jim ran to the castle and he knocked on the door. He waited and he waited until the door was slowly opened by a very old giant. Oh, said the giant, a boy, a nice juicy boy. Three fried boys on toast. That's what I used to eat. I used to like eating that in the old days, but I got no teeth now. So come on in, boy. You're quite safe with me. The giant shared his breakfast of beef and beer with Jim. Is your name Jack? he asked. No, it's Jim said Jim. Did you come up a beanstalk? asked the giant. I came up some sort of plant, said Jim. It's that beanstalk again, said the giant. It came up here once before and that pesky boy Jack, he stole some of my father's gold and took our golden harp and our golden hen. And I've never really been happy since. And now you see, I'm old too. And I can't even read my poetry books no more because you know those words, the print, they is too small. Haven't you got glasses? asked Jim. Only beer glasses. For drinking my beer, said the giant. No, I mean reading glasses, said Jim. You know, they go on your nose and around your ears. Oh, it's my eyes I'm talking about, roared the giant, banging his fist on the table. No, these glasses are for your eyes, said Jim. And he explained about glasses while the giant listened carefully. Get them! said the giant fiercely when Jim had finished. Get em for me. I'll pay you good gold. I'll have to measure you, said Jim. So Jim measured 
the giant's head. The giant gave Jim a gold coin and Jim climbed down the beanstalk. Holding as tight to the coin as he could, he showed the coin to his mother. But before she could say anything, he ran off to the optician. <gasps> the optician could hardly believe his eyes when he saw the size of the giant gold coin. But he set to work straight away. He worked all night. And in the morning, the glasses were ready. Jim carried them home. Then he tied them on his back and he climbed back up the beanstalk. Oh, the giant loved his new glasses and he began reading rhymes to Jim as soon as he put them on. You're a good boy, he said, and now I can see you properly. I is wondering what you would be like to eat. But you can't eat anything much nowadays, because, you know, i got no teeth. Why don't you get false teeth? asked Jim. False teeth? roared the giant. I never heard of false teeth. So Jim explained about false teeth while the giant listened carefully. Get them, said the giant when Jim had finished. Get them for me. I'll pay you good gold. So Jim measured the giant's whoop, mouth. Make them big, said the giant, and sharp. I like sharp teeth. The giant gave Jim another gold coin. And Jim climbed down the beanstalk as fast as he could, holding tight to the coin. He showed a coin to his mother. But before she could say anything, he ran off to the dentist. The dentist could hardly believe his eyes when he saw the size of the giant gold coin. But he set to work straight away. He worked all night. And in the morning, the teeth were ready. Jim carried them home. Then he tied them on his back and he climbed back up the beanstalk. Look at those teeth. Wowzers. The giant loved his new teeth. He jumped up and down, champing his jaws and gnashing his teeth until the sparks flew. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at those. Then the giant sat down and he looked at himself in the mirror. Yeah, he said. I used to be a good-looking lad. Great head of flaming red hair, he said. But now look at me. Look at me. I is bold. Why don't you have a wig? asked Jim. A wig? roared the giant. I never heard of a wig. So Jim explained about wigs while the giant listened carefully. Get one, said the giant when Jim had finished. Get one that's red and curly. I'll pay you good gold. So Jim measured the rest of the giant's head. The giant gave Jim another gold coin. And Jim climbed down the beanstalk as fast as he could, holding tight to the coin. He showed the coin to his mother, but before she could say anything, he ran off to the wig maker. The wig maker could hardly believe his eyes when he saw the size of the giant gold coin. But he set to work straight away. He worked all night and in the morning the wig was ready. Jim carried it home. And then he tied it on his back and he climbed back up the beanstalk. No, there's Jim carrying the wig.
The giant loved his new wig. Oh, I look about a hundred years younger, he said. And he put on all his best clothes and he danced about the room, beaming at himself in the mirror. Marvellous, wonderful, he boomed. I'm happy again. I feel like a new giant. And... But uh, now... Hmm... Mm, he said, mm, my appetite is coming back. I'm beginning to feel a little bit hungry. The giant stood still and looked at Jim. Mm. Fried boy, he said. Jim waited to hear no more. He ran to the beanstalk, slid down it as fast as he could, and he landed below in a heap. Poof. Above him, he could hear the thunder of the giant footsteps. <laughs> Seizing an axe, Jim swung mightily and chopped down the beanstalk. And at the very moment the beanstalk fell, something else landed beside Jim with a thud. It was a huge piece of paper wrapped around a giant gold coin. And on the paper was written, Dear Jim, thank you for the teeth and the glasses and also the lovely wig. Your friend, the giant. Jim ran inside and showed the giant gold coin to his mother. At last you can keep one for yourself, she said. And somewhere in the distance, Jim could hear the rumble of giant laughter. Mm. I love that one. It's a good one. And I hope you really enjoyed it too. So what we want you to do is have a lovely rest of the day. We want you to stay safe, be kind and keep smiling. Bye for now. See you again soon.